When you create a lookbook, people want to know what you're wearing. So it's important to display that, and we do that with text. This episode, we're talking about how to use text and how to design the camera and the angle and the space around it so that you can do that. So guys, we're talking about text here. We're set up for this sweet shot. We're gonna hit the road, but first we have to plan for the text. We're just gonna look for places that it's not distracting. We're thinking about space that is not cluttered. So some nice street space or the sky or maybe some green space around them. Uh, because of my shot, it's gonna be pretty blurry on the side or behind them, so that might be even a good space. And we're gonna use the rule of thirds, which allows our subjects and some space with one third of the screen on the left, one third in the middle, and one third on the right, and kind of separating them that way. So let's get to it. All right, hit it. I'm planning ahead and making sure I have several scenes in which I provide enough space to insert my text and titles in post. Hey guys, it's Heidi. I'm going to show you how to add text to the footage that Jeff just shot. So if you don't already have Filmora open, you can open it up right now. And I've already got my media files showing and I've dragged a clip onto the timeline that I like, that I want to use. Now the first thing you need to do on the main timeline bar is click on the text slash credit tool. So you can see on the left hand side there's a big list of different types of title effects. Today we're going to use the fashion collection. So you can click on any of the effects and preview them right over top of your video if you add it to your timeline or you can just click it once to preview it in the window on the right hand side. I'm just going to delete that. Uh, I want to use a cleaner, edgier effect. So I'm going to go with this one. Beautiful. So I'm just going to cut my clip down so that I only have the footage that I want. So I can do more things with the title. If you double click on it, it'll take you into the basic settings. You can change the font, you can change the size, you can make it bold, italic, you can change the alignment to center or right justified. You can change the color of your text. I'm just gonna leave it in black. You can adjust the line spacing or the spacing between the letters. You can edit it in the preview window, but we're going to edit it in the advanced settings. There's a little button called advanced. Just click on that. And this is where we get to get down and do some cool things. So there's a little timeline in here. And on the timeline, you've got two pieces of text. Yeah, so I'm just gonna change the text for this one by just clicking right on it. And I'm gonna type in the type of bike that he's riding. I'm gonna click this other text and change that. So if I wanted to reposition this to another place on my video, I would select all of it or select all the layers in the timeline. And I could just use the arrow keys to move them all. So I kind of want to put it up here in the left, top left corner away from uh, our subjects so I don't cover them. And also if I want to change how quickly the text comes in, I can adjust this dark part at the beginning of the layer and that adjusts how quickly the text comes in. So if I make it shorter, it'll just pop in a lot quicker, like this. Or if I make it a bit longer, it'll just take a few more seconds to come in there. And that looks great. And then if I wanted the second piece of text to come in later, I can just move it over on the timeline. And then it'll look like this. Beautiful. And I want to move this down. Okay, so we go back, we can look at that. That's great. So 
gonna say okay and watch that playback. Gorgeous, that came in beautiful. So that's title effects. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, and we'll see you next time. Stay on, Fillmore fans. Thanks for watching. Jeff signing up. Yeah. Anybody with me? George Kessler, Imagination Station. Yeah. Nope. It was on PBS when I was a kid.